Hi, Harris Lake Park parents and students. Um, I wanted to get on here and just say hello, let you know that I miss you, and I hope you're enjoying your time with your family and able to do some really fun stuff at home um, with learning and art, um, reading, just lots of cool things with your parents and your siblings. So I wanted to share some things that you can find on the art website that I have for HLP Art. Um, if you go to the homepage and click on Fun Art Websites, you can find different games, um, different websites that let you be creative, things that you can watch. So that's a great resource for you at home. But those of you that want to get right into the art making, like me, um, in fifth grade art, we had just finished a monochromatic painting that was gonna be the background for a drawing. And so um, I just looked up monochromatic paintings and you can see that there's lots of different things you can do with a monochromatic painting. You could paint something with a silhouette over top of it. These are kind of fun. Um, so maybe you wanna try something like that. If you have paint at home in fifth grade, that's something. We've also done animal drawings. So maybe you wanna continue with the animal drawings. In fourth grade, we just finished a really cool weaving and here's another weaving idea um, using cardboard like we did. And instead of weaving around the cardboard, it's just weaving on the front of the cardboard. Um, but there's step-by-step -step directions on how to do everything here. If you have yarn at home, if you have cardboard, um, and then you can hang it on a stick like that and add some other fun things to it. So this might be a great project for you to do at home. Another cool thing that I want to try once I figure out if I have stamp pads or go get some, um, we have Legos at home. And so basically what you need is Legos or some kind of blocks, um, stamp pads, and she recommends putting a piece of felt or something kind of soft underneath to help the um, ink stick on there. But there's really cool art you can make with stamping with those Legos. You can make robots, you can make other cool designs, towers, buildings, um, insects that are like that. So this is a great thing to try at home. Um, I've also found some cool things that you can make with toilet paper rolls as we all are going through toilet paper at home. Um, and you might be like me and always save it, um, or you might start saving it, but there's really cool things that you can make with just the plain um, roll or painting it, putting paper around it, just trying some cool things. Your student probably can figure out a lot of awesome things that they can make, or you can go to Pinterest like I am on here. Another thing that we've tried this week is we've watched Cassie Stevens and she's done a live video every day that school's been out, I think every day, um, just with different things. Last week's theme was robots. This week it is art and science. So we were able to do the bubble thing this morning and I've done it with students before, but it was fun to do it with Adlin. She really liked it. Um, just remember, you got to blow, don't, don't suck it up, suck up the water in the um, soap. <laughs> We did that at the end, so we had to stop, but um, she loved it. She really loved it. There's other things you can do um, with these videos. Um, it's just a great resource. Uh, we plan on doing some more of her stuff today. Um, another thing I wanted to show you that we're doing at home, we made some puppets with brown paper bags and just some construction paper. Here's some from, um, let me go back. This is what we made with the robots. You can cut boxes, um, cereal boxes or other boxes. We did a rubbing with crayons, which is really fun. Then we covered it with aluminum foil and did some prints with, after coloring it with markers and then doing some prints. In second grade, we've been printing. So this could be a really fun thing to do with your student. Um, and the, the last thing I wanted to show you is in preschool, Adlin is, has a theme for each of the days. And, her theme yesterday was oceans, so we found an ocean book. I got some supplies to make some artwork. So we did this with crayons, with watercolor paint, and then with the toilet paper roll, we um, bent it and then made it to kind of look like fish, and then used the Q-tip to make some dots of bubbles and eyes in the fish. And here's the one that I did. It's kind of hard to see, but we did crayon first, then the watercolor, um, then I added a few other things, but um, depending on the level of your student, you can do whatever they're able to do. Might be something like this or like this. And as long as you're trying and doing some fun, creative stuff at home, that is wonderful. So I hope this really helps you. Um, let me know if there's any other way I can help you, support you. 